cannot believe it. You have just grown up, young lady. Thank you. Um, and you have made it a family fair and a little bit of a date. Oh, I see that handsome gent back there. I know. He's pretty unbelievable. I yeah. say, you both are winning on that front. Thank and you. you are winning when it comes to Enola Holmes. Thank you. Not only the star of this movie, but a producer as well. So you've got to be over the moon yeah. for a sequel. I know. I know. I'm really grateful. And Netflix gave me the opportunity to create this character again. I started a detective agency. Oh, how old? But you're a girl. What do you think it is that people are connecting and loving most about Enola Home? I think there's a part of the film that the audience feels like they can connect with Enola because we're breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. And um, it feels like there's a better connection between the both. When people, especially when young people watch the film, they're like, oh, she's talking to us. And it feels like you have a relationship with her, you have a friendship with her, and it, it really feels like you're going on the journey. Look, even grown women feel like they have a relationship and some sort of kindred spirit with her. And the fact that your sidekick is Henry Cavill. Hello. <laughs> I know. How do you feel like you're up in the ante with this sequel, though? Well, I think this time around we're talking about a real story that really happened, yeah. which I think is really important to shed light on um, female workers and the way they were treated back then in order to improve now. Um, so it's a really important story and a really big message. It truly is. And I, I kind of touched on Henry Cavill. I'm curious, since you worked directly with him, he was your big bro in this film. Did you know before the rest of us that he was returning as Superman, young lady? <laughs> I did not yes, know. You, oh, I really on. didn't. I really didn't. He, um, he's very secretive, but I, I will tell you he is so talented, so no wonder they want him back. And I cannot wait for a third film. There's definitely going to be one. I hope so. I, I really hope so. Have you wrapped your mind around the final season of Stranger Things? I have. I'm coming to terms with it slowly. So I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Well, you are just going to continue to shine, young lady. Thank you very have much. Fun.